Alrighty. Here's segment number three. For Billy Moody's birthday special. And we're now on the Xbox 360 for this one. As we play America's favorite question and answer show. Or rather, America's favorite answer and question show. I had to do it right down there. Jeopardy! Jeopardy, of course, will be starting their 35th season in syndication this September. Please welcome our contestants. Woo! It's kind of fun. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Completes the Star Trek title. Geography. Historic London. Alliteration allotment. Waterworks and the Animal Kingdom. Hmm. Player one. It's two geography two hundred to start off. Cities in this large South American country include Mendoza, Rosario, and Mar del Plata. Okay, player one. What is Brazil? No. Nope. No, that's not the country. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? The correct response is Argentina. Argentina was what we needed on that one. Layer one, the trouble with these creatures. And that was not the $400 clue that There's I wanted. One. But uh, I'll say what our triples. Yeah. That's correct. There we and go. We're back into some money. You get to pick again. The Mabinogium is an important collection of myths and tales from this UK country. We're talking about Wales. Select again. A castle built by crusaders dominates the port of Kyrenia on this island nation near Lebanon. Here's the correct response. Cyprus. Player one. Pick again. Where no man has done this. It's player one. What has gone before? Correct. Geography 800. Player one. Pick again. Boil up with some serious sunscreen as you trek to Alice Springs, the center of this nation's vast red center. Yes, player three. Yes. What is Australia, Mike? Player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. It's the only African country with port cities on both the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. It's player two. Good. Egypt. Okay. Player two, start us. In basketball, this ball handling infraction will cost you possession. Player one? What is double dribble? Yeah. That's it. Where do we begin? A condition of low priority. In a cooking phrase, it usually follows on the... Player one? What is back burner? Yeah. Good. All right, alliteration allotment for 600. Player one, back to you. You'll get a charge over this critter, an Amazon river dweller that can pack a 650 volt wallop. We're talking about electric eel. 
Oh, electric eel. Okay, so, uh, 800. Layer one. Here's Jimmy. He'll show you. Water vapor and ozone are two of these gases, collectively known as GHGs, which keep heat from escaping the atmosphere. GHGs. Layer one. What are greenhouse gases? Yes. <laughs> Layer one. You pick again. R R. As a description in mail delivery. Let's hear it, layer one. What is rural route? Correct. Please pick again. 600, Star Trek. Muds these. We're talking about women. 800, Star Trek. Please pick the city on the edge of this. We're talking about forever. And let's finish up the category. Please pick up. Answer, the Daily Double. It's the Daily Double. I have $2,800 to risk. And you're in the loop now. How much? Let's go... Let's do 1200 <coughs> For even 4000 The Corbomite, this. <coughs> what is Syndrome? You are still oh, no. in the first place, though. Here's what we were looking for. Maneuver. Maneuver. Layer one, you pick a game. Animal Kingdom for 200. The Norway type of this infuriating rodent actually originated in Asia. Yes, player one. What is rat? Yeah! Animal Kingdom for 400. Player one. The eyes of these croaking critters usually bulge, but they retract and push down on the mouth to help in swallowing. It's player one. What are frogs? That's correct. Animal Kingdom for 600. Layer one. The hermit type of this animal can twist its abdomen to one side, so it tucks neatly into its home. Layer one. What is crab? Layer <laughs> one. Back. Let's get Sarah's assistance on this clue. Sea lions have external ears, while true seals do not. However, they all belong to this suborder, Latin for thin-footed. Yes, player three. Oh. Terra, Terra, nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Mm. We're talking about Pinnipedia. Pinnipedia. All right, let's finish the category. Layer one, two. The Hirola is also known as the four-eyed species of this African ungulate. Here is what we want. The antelope. Antelope. All right, let's do Here Historic again, London one. 200. You can visit several of these historic structures, like Kensington and Buckingham. What are palaces? Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> player one. Pick again. Regent's Park was a hunting ground for this 16th century king who never hunted without tiring eight or ten horses. Player two. Uh, Henry the Yes. <laughs> Player two, you start. Famous men who orated at Hyde Park's Speaker's Corner include Friedrich Engels and this 1848 Engels co-author. The correct response is Karl Marx. You again, player two. Arthur Wellesley, the first duke of this, was known as a soldier, but had an eye for art, as you can see at Apsley House. 
It's player one. What is Wellington? Great. Right. Historic one to the thousand. Player one. According to Shakespeare, these conflicts began with a confrontation in the Temple Gardens. It's player three. Baron's oh. Wars. Nope. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. The Wars of the Roses. Select again. Waterworks 200. A waterfall provides only temporary safety from the Hurons for Alice and Cora in this Fenimore Cooper novel. Yes, player one? It is the last of the Mohicans. That oh. is correct. 400 Waterworks. Player one. An old man recalls his time with the Benzini Brothers Circus in water for these large beasts. Yes, player three. Elephants, yep. Player three, you start. Conrad's heart of darkness was inspired by his voyage up this African river. Congo. The Congo River. Please pick again. Player three. This final Joyce novel's ending leads back to its beginning. River Run past Eve and Adams. Okay, player two. Oh. No. Not Ulysses. Anyone else? Yes, player three? No. Oh, not Dubliners. Any other takers? It's player one. What is Finnegan's Wick? It oh. had to be because that was the only choice left. And we only Here's have one clue left, left, so let's take a look at it. This author's The Open Boat is based on his experience surviving an 1897 shipwreck. It's player three. Right you are. Stephen Crane. Well, I'll take him to minus 400, but he still won first in double jeopardy. We'll select first in double jeopardy. We'll start that round for you right after this.